Well, as I was fortunate enough to spot that sign there that tells me I can only stay 48 hours, I'm uh, now going to move the boat. Uh, there's some spots on, uh, not the landing stage, but in between two landing stages, just on the other side of this lock, uh, sort of in the pound as it were, or the lock after that has got quite a long pound where I've seen boats moored, so them's my options. And hopefully, if I haven't left it too late, I should get somewhere and then I can hole up again and uh, get on and uh, put some of these videos together for a day or two. I'll just wait for the swan traffic to pass before I set off. It's a leisurely cruise past all the moored boats up to the next lock. There's a boat workshop on the left. Plenty grinding going on by the sounds of it. And there's a higher boat place to my right. Here we go. Well, this will be my first double lock for a while. And I remember it from last time, actually, because um, there's no bollards on the landing stage. I'm going to say that it's, um, I think it's more question that all the higher boats have sort of taken up the landing stage really. So I just managed to sneak on at the end and uh, I better work this lock quick before something happens to the boat because it's hanging by a thread. I only need to open the one gate. Like old times doing a wide lock. I'm soon joined by another boat. Well, I just checked to see if there was another boat coming and there was so I went over to get the other gate open for them but luckily they've uh, got a couple of people helping so uh, I'll just hold on to my boat here and let the rest happen. I haul my boat out with the centre line. Well, next lock, a uh, little system going. The other chap stopped on the landing stage and I closed up the previous one. And uh, then I went in this one first. Now he's coming in. I came out of the boat, actually I had the option. I could have stayed on the boat. Probably easier to really, but it's so noisy and smelly down there, I thought I'd come out anyway for now. Um, but there's another boat coming, so we've got people helping that way, so for me, probably just hold on to the rope really. This agile couple are soon away. Now you can 
come in and go out two abreast if you want to but I don't like doing that it makes it um, very limited on steering so I'll let them go first and I'll catch them up in a moment they save me time one way or the other but there's a boat coming in so they're handling the lock gates up at that end so it's an easy ride once again the pound between these locks is quite long and you can moor here Well, I had thought to stop here, um, and there's no spaces as it turns out anyway. Um, but do you know what? Now I've got a nice little system going on with these guys. I'd, uh, I'd be mad not to get this flight out of the way, really. I have to stop before the tunnel, definitely, um, which I didn't want to do because there's not all that much light there. But I should have a full charge of batteries and a tank of hot water by then, so we do the tunnel tomorrow. Once again, uh, not enough landing stage for the both of us. Of course, trying to stay still on the narrow boat is uh, completely impossible. So I'll just sort of drift about. If I end up drifting over to the bank, I'll go in there and hold it with a rope. And if I end up drifting somewhere else, then I'll do something different. But uh, hopefully, I'll have the gates open in a minute. I'll go in the lock. That'll be the best solution. Do it a bit differently this time. I think I'll stay down here because there's uh, a few people helping. Save me a climb. Ah, oh, there we are. It was the Admiral Nelson. Do you know what? Sometimes when it's like this, I'm just the ballast really, aren't I? I'm not doing anything useful well there's so many different ways uh, that you can approach things um, this locks only got one opening gate actually and there's a boat in it coming down so I've managed to get on the landing stage uh, behind the other boat and I thought what I'd do is I, if I can tie a rope onto a bollard and you know go and give a hand at the lock obviously do something take my windlass up there at least um, but there's no bollards back here so I've got nothing to tie on to so you know short of starting getting the pins out um i've just really got to stay here with the boat but there's loads of people up there all doing stuff so <laughs> once again i'll um i'll just have to be the ballast on this one i think with one gate inoperative the other boat has gone in first and shuffled over for me All I have to do is gently slide in alongside. Well, once again, I'll stay down here. Um, I do like to help out when I can, but when you're on your own, there's sort of not much you can do really. By the time I go around there, faff about I've got to hold on to the boat with a rope for the most part anyway so I'll stay down here and gladly take the help I think of course I should add that since I've come onto the Grand Union I'm heading south uh, at this point of the canal I'm uh, locking up again now, so back to normal. Do you know what? Nice idea though it is to have a locked cottage. I'm not sure as I'd really want one actually. All this noise and fumes outside all day long. Well, I was out of that lock first. Um, I thought I'd go over to the landing stage, get tied on here. And I can be a bit useful at the next lock. But funny enough, someone's left the the uh, gates open, nearly said doors, uh, the gates open, um, so the only thing to do is just go straight in, uh, but if I can I'll uh, get in there, turn the engine off, 
and uh, climb up and do it on the rope and, you know maybe uh, use my windlass on something see what happens The other boat soon joins me in the lock. Well, I'm quite glad to be up here actually. The, uh, fumes and noise down there are just uh, horrendous. It's hard to work up here but I prefer it. We're just waiting as another boat is locking down. I really ought to be up there helping but yeah, by the time you get off, you're too late to do anything anyway. Well, do you know what? I've got it just about right tonight, for once. Not cruised for too long, not cruised for too short. I ended up doing the whole flight because I was with a boat and we were working as a team. Like they were doing all the work. And I thought I might as well just kill that flight, so I did and I'm more just before the tunnel, it's a couple of hundred yards down there so we can do that for another separate adventure. I might do, um, I might do a bow cam for that, what do you think? That'd be good wouldn't it? But anyway for today, or even a couple of days, I'm moored here now, it's a 48 hour mooring just before the Braunston Tunnel and uh, as usual that will do me for now. <laughs>